This is really kind of a short video on my four favorite Marshall models in the Fractal. Uh, I kind of like these because these are the ones that work best for me live. And each one of these is basically kind of a different level of gain or a layer of gain. The first one is the JM45 or the JTM45. I discovered this one really when I was trying to do the Red Hot Chili Peppers, um, what do you call it, uh, the preset that I did uh, about a month ago. <laughs> The second model here is based off the uh, GSCM 800, I guess it's the Brit 800, and I've got it set fairly clean and not super snarly. <laughs> really good for kind of all that 80s um, not super heavy rhythm stuff the pop crunchy rhythm stuff um. <laughs> uh, all of that that stuff that uh, was really recorded <laughs> probably with the Marshall uh, but not as as dirty as we kind of like to make them sound so I really like this a lot it took me a long time to really figure out that the JCM 800 was a sound I liked. I had never really gotten along with them in, in person. Uh, and it's nice. It's got, it's got nice definition without really uh, killing stuff. So that's a, a favorite of mine. The next one is the JCM, or the Brit Silver, which is the Silver Jubilee model. And I had one of these, an original one in the 80s. I bought it new and sold it a couple years later, and I really regret that. Uh, but it's still kind of a sound that I really like. And I use it more for my heavier, maybe 90s kind of stuff. <laughs> And then the last model on here is, um, I started off with Leon Todd's, like, uh, turn your uh, Plexi into a Van Halen amp or something. I forgot what it was. It was a really good video, though. I'll, I'll see if I can put a link down below. <laughs> And um, I, I kind of like the Van Halen, uh, uh, like 1984 is kind of like where I started with Van Halen and I tracked backwards. Uh, Van Halen 1, which is always a great sound to me, really uh, actually has a lot more distortion than I remembered. I, I went back and listened to all these albums. And uh, I think for what I'm doing right now, if I want to use this kind of as an 80s crunch sound, it's kind of important not to have that much crunch. <laughs> As far as the lead sounds go, what I've got is I've got a filter with a little bit of a high cut on it uh, and a little bit of a, like a 3 dB boost. All the Van Halen you get out of me today. And then I, I've got the same thing for the Brit Silver. Um, sometimes I put pedals like RC boosters and things in, in front of them or AC boosters. I also like the, the BB Pre, the Andy Timmons one. Uh, but for the sake of this, I just wanted kind of a plain preset that you guys could kind of just take the sounds you like and put them in your own presets and just kind of do what you want to with it. Uh, so it's it's just kind of a sampler, um, kind of like a box of C's candy, I guess. Um, like I said, all of these are going through um, the Leon Todd LT, 
LT TV Mix 7 uh, IR. Um, once again, I'm using my American Standard Strat with it's got a Sir DSV pickup in it and a couple of Seymour Duncan Antiquities. And um, you really try this with your FR FR speaker, like really crank it up. Uh, and, and it's got a, it, these are really like at concert volume is where I dial these in. So it's really good for using for gigs. Um, they might sound a little less focused if you're playing quietly. Um, but you know, you can always, you know, mess with them to, so that they sound good on your listening environment, I guess, whether it's IMs or earphones or studio monitors, or you're going through the power section of amp or whatever you want to do with it. Um, but, uh, they're just kind of, kind of a good starting point. I like these. This is kind of my one part of my library of amplifiers and I've got uh, kind of the cleaner and, and edge of breakup stuff uh, with fenders and Vox and, and Morgan models I'll probably do at another point but uh, enjoy these and if you like this video go ahead and hit like and subscribe and check out down below we've got links for you know shirts and lessons and I've got a whole bunch of video lessons backing tracks on the channel uh, so go ahead and take care of that stuff too thanks a lot